All right, so here's the first location. We are going to start from the giant coral tube that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about one and a half notches to the right of west until we reach the dunes pile. Going here, you're going to bring your prawn suit with a drill arm. You're also going to want to bring your stasis rifle, knife, and a sea glide. Now, in terms of the hostile creatures that you'll run into here, you'll run into warpers and reaper leviathans, unfortunately. So with reaper leviathans, what you can do is hop out of your prawn suit real quick and shoot it with a stasis rifle to freeze them and keep it off your back. And the other threat you'll run into here are warpers. Warpers can teleport you out of your prawn suit or just while you're swimming around regularly. So if you do get teleported, you can either outrun them on your sea glide or you can just attack them with a knife until they take enough damage to teleport away from you. All right, and now that we are in the dunes, we can start looking for the course deposit. Hey, okay, we got one deposit so far. There's a reaper, and there's a reaper who wants a piece of me. Okay, we got a second deposit right here. Okay, we got a third deposit right here. And then our fourth, I think this is our fourth deposit right here. So we were able to find four deposits here. Let's go to the next spot. All right, to reach the next location, we are going to start from the giant crow to the six of out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about two and a half notches to the right of south until you reach the Grand Reef. On the Grand Reef, you're gonna bring basically the same stuff you did for the last spot. So you're gonna bring your prawn suit with a drill arm and you're, you might wanna bring a grapple arm. Well, voice correct. You might wanna bring a grapple arm for this spot because the Grand Reef is a little bit deeper. So you're gonna have just a little bit more trouble in getting out. And other than that, you're gonna bring your stasis rifle, your knife and your sea glide. Are the only two threats that you'll run into here. You'll run into warpers just like you did at the last spot. They can teleport you out of your prawn suit. So if they do, you can either attack them with a knife till they take enough damage to walk away, or you can just run away from them on your sea block. And the newer threat that you're gonna run into here are ghost leviathans. It's just as dangerous as a reaper is, so you're basically gonna do the same thing as you would with a reaper. So if it does come after you, just jump out of your prawn suit, hit it with your stasis rifle, and then run away. All right, now that we are in the Grand Reef, we can start looking for our course deposit. Okay, there we go. I was beginning to think that nothing spawned here. One fragment. We have one deposit here, and we have another one here, so we got two deposits so far. Okay, we got a third deposit right here. Okay, and there is our last and our fourth deposit right here. Let's go on to the next spot. All right, and to reach the next spot, we're going to start from the giant course of the six of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the left of south until we reach the crag field. Going here, you're going to want to bring your standard old prawn suit with its drill arm, just like you would any of these spots. You're also going to bring your stasis rifle, but you don't really need your knife. Just your stasis rifle and your sea glide. Alright, now the only threat that you'll run into here are bone sharks, and bone sharks are smaller, like aggressive creatures. They can deal some pretty good damage to you and your vehicle. So the best thing you can do, you can either kill them with your prawn suit's drill arm, because they, they don't have a whole lot of health. So you can easily kill them with a drill arm. You can hit them with your stasis rifle and don't shine any lights on them because that will draw their attention nearly basically instantly. And there's one right there. Right, so we are now in the crack fields, as you can see, because you can see these like rocks protruding out of the ground like this in this sort of formation. So now that we are here, we can start looking for the deposit. Okay, we're gonna grab the deposit right here. So we have two deposits, and there's a third one right there. Okay, okay, and there's our fourth deposit right here. Oh yeah, with that, let's head on to the last spot. All right, and to reach the very last spot, we're going to start from the giant coral tube that's out of the water once again. And from here, we are going to head southwest until we reach the sparse reef pile. Now for the sparse reef, all you really need to bring is your prawn suit with this drill arm. And you don't really need anything special, like you don't need your stasis rifle, a knife, anything like that. And there are no hostile creatures in this pile. So you're going to be relatively safe here while you search for your deposits.
All right, now that we're in the sparse wave, we can start looking for our deposits. And as we can see, there is one right there, right off the bat. We got one so far. Hey, we got a second one right here. All right, we got a third deposit right here. And there's our last one right there. So we got all four of our deposits. Well, we were able to find four deposits that eat a little at each of those spots. That's nice. That's all I had for y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.